How's it going? Gabe here with uh, RC Cincy. And uh, before I get into this unboxing, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, this channel is not just going to have drones. Uh, there will be some trucks, cars, boats, uh, bigger outdoor drones that I'll be reviewing. It's just the weather has been cold, rainy, and snowy. So it's just a lot easier for me to bring you uh, these reviews and unboxings. So, there will be new videos coming up soon, hopefully, if the weather breaks. Um, actually, uh, my fiance received her truck not that long ago. It's a really nice uh, truck, I guess you can call it. Uh, we should be doing a review on that soon. Uh, we're probably going to take it to a trailer somewhere nice in the park, get outside. Uh, Mr. Willis is going to be with us. And I think it's going to be a good video now. Um, this uh, drone right here is an, geared mainly for indoor, but it can be flown outside if it's not really windy. This is the JJRC H36. Um, these kinds of drones are pretty popular. There's lots of different manufacturers making them. Um, this particular one I purchased it off of Amazon. It was like $18.99 with free shipping. Uh, took two days to get it, which was really cool. Uh, Banggood might have it a little bit cheaper, but you do have to wait a longer period of time unless you pay for uh, upgraded shipping. So that's why I chose uh, Amazon now. The packaging is pretty basic. Inside you do have these uh, plastic trays, and uh, the drone is separate from everything else. It protects it pretty well. You're controlling everything else goes in there. Uh, pretty decent packaging. I guess you could keep it in there if you wanted to. Um, so it works well. Um, you can get it in this blue. The one I ordered was gray and black. So let's go ahead and get into what you get in the box. Um, you get a small transmitter. Uh, it does work. Um, now, what I like about it is it does take double A's. I have a lot more of these than triple A's. I get a little, might gripe a little bit when they're triple A's, but. All in all, this transmitter works well. It is not an altitude hold. By uh, You can see the throttle does not go back to center. So this is, uh, you have to do your own throttle management. Uh, what I like about this is very simple layout. Your top right bumper is going to be your flips. Your left bumper is going to be your speeds. And then on the left side where your throttle stick is, it's going to be a return home and headless mode, and then the other two buttons are just simply trims. These do not click, click in um, like the, uh, which one was that? Clicked in, uh, the JJRC H20H uh, has clickers. This one does not. Just a little bit different uh, buttons. Um, and uh, there was another one. The Fury B now in another video I call it Furby, which was pretty funny. I'm sure some of you guys caught that. Surprised no one commented. Um, but this controller all in all is pretty small, so thumbs would be the way to go. And I guess you could do the pinchers, but I think the thumbs would be a lot more comfortable due to the size. It is 2.4 gigahertz uh, technology. Uh, light flashes when it's not bound. When it gets bound, it goes solid. Set that over here. Now you get um, directions. Now this one is a pretty simple uh, layout of the controller, so you can figure out. If not, it does have a diagram labeling each one. I don't think they're correct. Uh, let's see if we can find something for it. So that's not the right language. It does have all these different languages in here. It says that the right bumper, your flip button, is a trim button, so that's not correct. So. Um, you can review, watch a review to get the buttons, or you can just uh, figure them out. There's not that many. Um, well, I consider this Chinglish, so sometimes the translations aren't correct. So, uh, basics, figure out the buttons wouldn't be hard. And then, uh, as far as the uh, charging itself goes, you get a charger. But the thing about the charger is, you plug it in first, it lights up red into your uh, PC or wall adapter. Light goes out when it's charging, and then it, uh, the light goes back on when it's done charging. So you also get a small wiping slash cleaning cloth, I guess, uh, red paws. It's kind of cool. Shine up your canopy on it. 
Um, now in this bag you get the small wall charger I was just describing. Uh, and then you also get four small props. You do get two gray, two black. A little bit easier to uh, decipher the two. Now looking at the front of the drone, they're actually going in different directions. So make sure you got a counterclockwise prop on a counterclockwise turning motor. So do pay attention if you take one off. Make sure you put the correct one on there. There's the charger itself. It's reasonably long. Um, it works. I just leave mine tied up. Plug the battery up, connect it, just easier for me. Um, set this back in here, set it over here. And then the drone itself is pretty cool. They're uh, flexible, have a little bit of give. These can take a pretty good beating. Uh, I've wrecked mine several times. Uh, the canopy or the top of it does come off, it just unclips. Uh, two little uh, posts, goes, one goes on one side, one goes on the other, this does pop off. There is your main board. It's a little far away. I apologize for that. Um, you can modify these and get different parts for them. I'm not going to get into that today. And uh, you also get a... Let me push this out. Now be careful pulling these out. Sometimes the stickers they give you will stick to the actual um, tray braces right here. And they can get stuck. And if you pull on the wire, you can disconnect one of the wires. So be careful doing that. Um, this is uh, a 150 milliamp battery, 3.7 volt single cell, 30 C. So uh, these are the common, uh, pretty common batteries. Um, the Fury B uses it. Um, a lot of different the Inductrix, a little Whoops. All of them use this style of connector. Now I did review the uh, H. 20H JJRC uh, yellow hexacopter and actually this connector is different than that one. That one was much smaller so you can't use these two batteries. They're not com compatible so if you order some make sure you get the proper connector for this um, <laughs> otherwise you won't be able to use them for this particular drone. And uh, let's see I, that's pretty much it when it comes to what's in the box. Now flying with any of these uh, I recommend uh, set on a flat surface now let me go ahead and plug it up and show you the lights real fast before I fly it you get blue in the front they're flashing currently and red in the back so that'll help a little bit of orientation uh, they're not as bright outside obviously um, but other than that you just want to place your drone on a flat or level surface uh, with these toy uh, gray drones, you typically plug in the drone first and then do the transmitter last. So let's go ahead and plug this in, make sure it's plugged in all the way. Set it on a flat surface. Now hold on one second. Before I do that, I'm gonna lift, I'm gonna tilt this camera up a little bit since I'm shooting by myself. So I'm gonna be flying, <laughs> I'm not gonna be flying really low, I'm gonna be flying kind of high. So I want to make sure. Uh, I try to do my best to stay in the shot. I know it's kind of a weird angle. I apologize about that. Let me just adjust the little monitor a little bit so I can see better. Uh, and uh, I will plug this up first. Leave it on a flat, put on a flat or level surface. Then turn on the transmitter. I would go up and then back down. The light does go solid on the drone and the controller. And then you have control. When you start out, you're in the first rating. So let's go ahead and take off. So there it is right there. It does drift a little bit being small. Uh, probably can use a little bit of trimming. It's flying kind of rough a little bit. I have wrecked this one a lot. But there's your number one setting. There's the yaw. Let me go ahead and let's... uh. Let's try the headless mode with the yaw so it would be easier to control. Uh, maybe we can get this... Uh... Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and try to calibrate this because it is drifting a lot. So what you would do is you would take these sticks and just the bottom throttle all the way down and then take the left stick and go to the bottom right in a 45 degree angle. It will flash a couple times. And then it goes solid, you let it go. That should be a calibration. Now this will help if your uh, headless mode is off, if it drifts too much, and it 
Now this should have helped. If it does drift anymore, it's because it's either wrecked it or bent it or something. So mine is drifting a lot. I'm going to try to calibrate that a little bit. Um, still going. Wow. I've already clicked it a lot forward. It's still, whoops. It's still wanting to uh, drift. Uh, Okay, that's more, it's a little bit more manageable. Let's go with that. Now I'm going to take back off again. Then I'm going to do uh, headless mode, which causes it to flash. And then I'm going to do the yaw, which is pretty quick on setting one. As you can see, it does work towards me, away from me. Let me come back to the shot. I don't know why I want to do so much. Spin it. Uh, go forward. Go back. It works really well. The headless mode does. Now let me turn off the headless mode. Not the best pilot, obviously. I apologize. Take off. I'm gonna go forward, away from me, and then I'm gonna hit the return home button. And it's coming directly in my a little bit off, which can be calibrated. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I am wrecking a lot. I apologize. Other than that, it works well. Uh, let's go ahead and try it. Flip. And the side flip. And the back flip. Whoa, that was way too close to the ground. That's my fault. Uh, but other than that, let me lean back a little bit. It flies really well. Really agile. Uh, if you get a new one, it won't probably drift as much as it does you can. Uh, calibrate. I've wrecked this one so much it's probably off a little bit. I apologize for that. Um, another flip. Maybe turn around. Maybe. Whoops. That's it. Uh, not very good. My throttle management. Yeah, forward. Come back this way. Forward. <laughs> I'm just trying to basically uh, get the battery to flash. Other than that, everything does work. Now let's go to, that's two beats, that's rate two. Did not demonstrate my rate two, I apologize. Uh, it's a lot faster, the cyclone is a little bit faster. That is fun. <laughs> let's go ahead and, uh, oh, it's mine. Whoops. Wow. This would be a lot of fun in a bigger room. Not flying too well, I apologize. But let's go ahead and spin it. Push away, come back. It is working as advertised. It does work. It was slightly off. You could always calibrate it. But all that does work. Let me turn off the headless mode and try to do my best to fly around. I do a lot better with bigger drones outside. I do a lot better, which I was hopefully get to show you guys. Once the weather gets better, uh, orientation is easier for me. The drone is bigger, even though I kind of do see which way it's facing. Flip. These batteries last a good little while, at least about five, six minute flights, maybe sometimes a little longer. It's a good battery. You can actually even upgrade these to a little bit bigger. Uh, and get like a five pack would be amazing. Get everybody in the family a chance to fly. For Christmas, this would be amazing. Birthday, I mean, or just because, you know. If you had time at the office, this would be a lot of fun, or a lunch break or something. This would be amazing. Whoops. Um, they're pretty quick and a lot of fun. They are versions of FBV. Uh, a bunch of cool stuff, so. Mine does drift a lot, I apologize about that. They usually aren't that bad. Uh, I mean, it's it's fairly reasonable if you can uh, trim it up. Mine just doesn't because it's been wrecked a lot. I've flown this quite a bit. I have an absolute blast with this drone. Um, it's one of my favorite, honestly. Uh, there's a MJX drone that I'll be bringing to. I don't want to give too many details that I'll like a little bit more than this one, but other than that, this is one of my favorites. I'm probably, once I get a little better, I'll buy a brand new one and actually uh, maybe modify it or get some motors. 
Whoops. Now, if you happen to wreck upside down or wreck at all, I recommend you uh, stopping it immediately, throttling down. This battery is awful. It's so much fun. <laughs> I just wanted to pretty much get a low battery life for you guys and uh, demonstrate all the features, which I didn't do so well. I do apologize about that. And there we go. Thank goodness. Because it was rough. Now you notice I can't do flips once the lights start flashing. And it is amazing. I got to trend pretty well now. Just a little bit here and there, but it's a really nice flyer. Let's go ahead and uh, try to land this. So there you have it, the JJRC. Now, as soon as that starts flashing, I recommend unplugging it, leaving some uh, juice on your battery. Um, that way you have longer battery life, better battery health. Uh, great price, I think. A lot of fun. You can, especially if you've got a bigger room to zip around, it's, trust me, it's a blast. I highly recommend these. Uh, there's a few different brands. They even have some that have extra batteries with the deals. Just lots of varieties, colors, a lot of different makes. But I do like JJRC a lot. I think they did a good job with this. And I'll be bringing new content. Try to do every day, if not every other. Um, especially in the winter, I can do that. Because I have seasonal work in the spring, summer, and fall. I might do maybe two or three a week. So I'll try to keep up with it. Uh, please help this channel grow. Share. Um, I'm working on goals for this channel, so if I can reach them, I plan on doing giveaways. Um, I plan on having a variety of different RCs. Um, I plan on making uh, an emblem where I can get on shirts, stickers, hats. I am going to be 100% dedicated to this channel the best I can. With the time I have, I'm going to invest quite a bit of money. I am going to work on getting better gear. Uh, Got editing software, I'm just so new to editing that I don't know how to use it yet, or the videos would be better. Uh, I'll improve everything that I possibly can to make this a nicer and better experience for you guys watching it. Other than that, uh, I think the ones outside are going to be a lot funner, and the uh, things that I bought to test are going to be a lot of fun too, so highly recommend it. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, please like and subscribe this video. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.